Welcome to the first video in the Ayurvedic August Beauty Series. I am so excited to share this haul with you. So, this month of August is going to be so special. I'm sharing all the things I know about Ayurveda, and different techniques that you can include in your hair, and skincare routine, and even like some other um, internal practices too, I guess that's what we'll call them. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today we're going to be talking about holy basil, one of my favorite herbs. Um, they got introduced to me from a friend. So today we're gonna be making, um, I guess it's however you want to use it, but you can either use it as a tonic um, that you drink, kind of like a little shot, <laughs> like a health booster, you know, wellness shot, or you can create it and use it for your hair. So it's totally up to you, or you can use half for your hair, half to drink, however you want to do it, but it is all part of this series that I'm so excited to share with you. So let's get started. Okay, so if you've never heard of holy basil, let me break it down for you. So holy basil is also called Tulsi. So you see it's T-U-L-S-I. Yes, S-I. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to put an E on there. Um, but also it's called Tulsi, like I said. So um, it's also part of the mint family. And this is just a little bit that I um, broke off my plant. It smells so good. It's almost like, um, like a sweet mint. I don't know what to call it, but it smells so good. Like that's one of the first things that really drew me to this plant. So a friend of mine gave me a plant a few months ago and this is how much it's grown. It's already, and I have more too. I didn't want to cut all of it off, but um, it smells awesome. So here's what mine looks like. It's been drying on my counter for a couple of, probably like a week now that I think about it. It's been drying for a while, but um, Traditionally, all these, the tops you see, they are purple flowers. They are very, very pretty. Like I said, it smells amazing. So holy basil, how do you use it? Um, a variety of ways. So we're gonna make a apple cider vinegar tincture or tonic, however you wanna call it. Again, you can also use it for your hair. So the benefits of ingesting um, this type of Ayurvedic herb is that um, it can help with like common cold, flu symptoms, um, ear ache. There's so many different things as far as like wellness and immunity that you can use this for. But as far as beauty purposes, this is actually one of the main ingredients inside of the Make It Classy kit. The Herbal Ebony um, DIY Hair Rinse Kit is holy basil. And so this is amazing for keeping your hair from falling out. If you have any hair issues with your hair thinning or like I said, falling out, um, any type of hair issues where your hair needs strength, holy basil is what you want to start incorporating into your routine. So this is like a magic plant. Like you literally <laughs> use it for internal things, but also for your hair and keep your hair growing and healthy and thick and all of those things that we all want. Um, we don't have to use a lot of, you know, traditional products that have a lot of different terrible ingredients in them. We can use a lot of um, herbs and plants that are growing at our backyard. So um, I'm going to show you really quickly how to make your either tonic that you're gonna drink or your um, hair rinse um, and scalp rinse. So one thing you really need is um, some sort of jar. So every time we make pasta or anything that involves a jar, I literally save the jars and then I just wash them out. So you just need a jar. Depending upon to how much um, of the plant that you have, so do you need a bigger jar, do you need a smaller jar? And then we're also just gonna use some um, apple cider vinegar here. And so the apple cider vinegar um, is going to act as our agent that is going to pull out all the properties. And we also know that apple cider vinegar is great for your scalp. Um, it's really good at cleansing and getting up any product buildup that you may have. But also apple cider vinegar is great for you to ingest. Um, my mom, she takes a shot of apple cider vinegar every single morning religiously, and it keeps her um, her ankles from swelling up. So there's so many different things that you can use it for, but that is what we are going to be using today. So I'm just gonna take the holy basil that I have here, and I'm going to roughly chop it. And some of the stems at the ends are a little um, thicker, so you might have to really use some muscle there to chop but I'm just kind of chopping it up into small pieces. You can break it. I mean, it's totally up to you, but I just like, I'm kind of weird. I like straight lines and stuff. <laughs> um, and it smells so good. Like literally the more you chop it, the more you smell it. It's, it's, it smells so awesome. Okay, so I have my chopped. And then all you're gonna do is fill up your jar with your items. 
making sure you're getting the leaves, the stems, all the flower parts that may be there. You can do this with um, dried holy basil, meaning it, you know, sat um, either on your counter or you um, did the inverted method where it hangs to dry. Um, or you can use fresh too, whichever you want. You don't have to have it dry. So I have some seeds here that I'm going to save to replant. But um, everything else is going in our jar. So we have our, um, our holy basil there, all good to go. And then um, the last part, as I said, is really easy. Um, the last part, you add your apple cider vinegar. So I'm going to shake mine because it has the mother at the bottom. I want to make sure we get all the good stuff there. And I don't actually think this one's been open. So you're going to pour um, your apple cider vinegar so that it is over the herbs that you have. So you can see I'm just filling my jar here so that it completely covers it. Now what you're gonna do, the easy part is this is it. You just leave it alone. So you're gonna pour your apple cider vinegar in there and then you're going to put a top on it and let it sit for two weeks. So if you were making an actual tincture, um, you could use apple cider vinegar or you can use um, alcohol, like pure alcohol. Um, however, you would let it sit a little longer. I usually let my tinctures and my oil infusions um, sit for at least um, six weeks or so. But with this, um, I let it sit for only a week. And I'm gonna go push some of this stuff down. With a spoon. So I just really want to make sure that it gets in there and that it's covered really down there at the bottom. So while it's sitting, what you want to do every couple of times a week is to find your jar and shake it. Just take it and you'll shake it like this and then you'll literally just like leave it alone. Let it sit there. Let it do its thing. Um, and so once it's done, you're going to want to strain this mixture. You can use a um, cheesecloth or a tea strainer, whatever you want to use, you're going to strain it and then you can store it in the refrigerator and use it as needed. So um, for me, like I said, if I was using it as a hair rinse, I would strain it and then I would put it into one of those um, empty bottles that has a, like, a nozzle tip where you can get to your scalp. Right before you wash your hair and cleanse it, you would use this tincture um, on your scalp and really just massage it in, making sure that it's all the way in there. And then let it sit for about five to 10 minutes and then wash your hair as normal. So that's gonna give you all of the hair growth properties we talked about, all the properties um, of keeping your hair from falling out, all of those issues. If you want to use it as a tonic, as in you are going to drink it, um, you want to make sure that you also store it in the refrigerator, it needs to go there, um, but also make sure that you add it in small amounts to things. So you can use a shot glass, and you can fill up your shot glass and take a shot every morning. That's what I plan on doing with this. Um, or you can add a small bit, like a shot glass worth to like wine or different foods that you're cooking that um, need a liquid. It's just really up to you how you want to use it, but there's so many different fun ways. Um, even summer drinks, you can add it into like a lemonade, or that vinegar is gonna give it a little tang, and then the holy basil, like I said, has that really sweet smell, so it's really gonna open that up for you. Um, so it just really however you want to use it. I'm actually gonna add in just a tiny bit more. So yeah, I'm gonna let this sit and then let it brew. Let it do its thing. That's the easiest part about using this herb is that you don't have to really babysit it. You just shake it every now and then. So if you leave it in a refrigerator, I would leave it in there no longer than two weeks. Um, and then from there, start over. But like I said, you use a little bit at a time. So for me, I'm probably gonna get like, you know, a couple of shot glasses worth. I'd say maybe like, maybe eight to 10, maybe. Probably not even that, because when you strain it, you will have a, a much smaller amount. So. Um, just keep that in mind. So you can make small jars like mine where I only have half, or you can do, um, you know, the full jar or bigger jar, whatever fits your fancy. So I hope you enjoyed this. I have many more recipes and fun tutorials coming your way. To talk about Ayurveda and how to include it in your hair and beauty routine um, and your just wellness routine in general. And you can find all of the content, videos, blog posts, and more on ClassicCurly.com. All right, see you.